Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 10 times Sonic infiltrated other games. Food from home will be confiscated and in all likelihood eaten. Our speedy hedgehog has blasted his way into a vast selection of games from Sega's other franchises to the company's business partners. Have you spotted the blue blur in any of these games? Do you think Sonic made any of these games way past cool? Let us know in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Super Smash Bros. Brawl Before Brawl, Smash Bros. was Nintendo's flagship fighter that celebrated its own IP. While Sega had begun putting some of their games onto consoles like the GameCube and Wii, it was still absurd to think about Sonic and Mario being in the same game, let alone fighting to see who would come out on top. So imagine the shock and awe on everyone's faces when Sonic was announced as the second guest fighter to be featured in Brawl. Sonic making a featured appearance in a Nintendo game? It broke everybody! Now Sonic is kind of an expectation, having appeared in Smash 4 and Ultimate. For younger players, Sonic is old hat and his inclusion is normal, but for us older folks, it still shocks us to think about today. You're too slow! Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg Have you ever played Billy Hatcher? If not, you should. It's a fun 3D platformer where you explore different worlds and use eggs to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. It's awesome. Upon hatching certain eggs, you can earn new items, hats, and animals to help you defeat the various baddies in each area. Of the 72 eggs to find and collect, 8 of them house Sega characters to aid Billy in his quest, and 4 of them hold Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and a Chow. To see these characters for yourself, you'll need to collect a certain number of coins before hatching them. Good luck finding them all! <laughs> Little Big Planet series. Back when Little Big Planet was, well, big, it seemed like almost everyone was giving Sackboy and friends a ton of new costume pieces. So it wasn't all that surprising to see Sonic and company make their way into the Sony platformer franchise. Releasing in 2010, players could now dress up Sackboy with costume parts based on Sonic himself, Tails, Knuckles, Eggman, and the Blue Blur in his Werehog form from 2008's Sonic Unleashed. For a few bucks, it wasn't too bad of a costume kit, but it would have been nice to see more Sonic stuff added in later down the road. You know, why can't I dress up as Shadow, or Silver, or Amy? Monster Hunter series. This pack features a number of challenges in the arena, access to the Super Mario Brothers, and the Sonic the Hedgehog collaborations, and more. The Monster Hunter games have shown plenty of love for various Capcom properties, particularly Mega Man and Street Fighter. Shockingly enough, our speedy rodent was given the hunter's fist bump a couple of times. In Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, an update added in a new outfit for Palico companions to dress up as Sonic himself. For Monster Hunter Rise, though, Capcom threw in some more goodies. In addition to the Sonic suit for Palicos, canines were given an outfit inspired by Sonic's buddy, Tails, and players could don their own Sonic-inspired outfit. Hunting monsters has never looked so cool. Haha, <laughs> chili dogs! Two Point Hospital. Welcome to Two Point Hospital, the one hospital you can trust in setting you up with the most reliable doctors, treating and curing you of any and all illnesses, and hiring more mascots than we know what to do with. But just in case you needed a taste of coolness in your clinic, well, there's a way to bring some more edge to medicine. For 
Sonic's 30th birthday, Two Point Hospital gifted all players a hearty set of Sonic-themed items, including a selection of costumes for staff to dress as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, or Amy. Uh-oh, looks like you're sick, and the only cure is to go way past cool. Now, shove this chili dog down your pie hole or your condition will worsen. Minecraft. Much like Little Big Planet, it seems like everyone is getting a skin and mashup world in Minecraft. Mario, Master Chief, Disney franchises. It, it seems like Sonic wasn't really in a rush to force his way into Minecraft, though. But when he did appear in Minecraft, the wait was so worth it. Once again, Sonic's 30th birthday was a huge blowout as Minecraft released a DLC pack containing loads of Sonic-themed skins in addition to a massive rendition of Green Hill Zone. And we gotta say, the models look really, really good considering how Minecraft's blocky aesthetic contrasts to the smoothness of Sonic's normal appearance. Nights into Dreams This Sonic cameo is going to require a bit more than just collecting stuff and buying DLCs. To see this for yourself, you'll need a copy of Nights into Dreams on a working Sega Saturn console. You know, everyone's got one of those, so this shouldn't be a problem for you. Simply uncover all of the Sonic tiles in the matchmaking game after each of the Christmas levels, and you'll unlock a mode called Sonic the Hedgehog Into Dreams. It isn't something you'll spend hours upon hours playing, but it's neat to see Sonic showing up in a lesser known Sega gem. At least there's no annoying alarm egg to worry about here. Fantasy Star Series Look, we are well aware of what occurred during Online 2's collaboration event back in September 21. Seriously, no one should be forking over a hundred bucks for simple cosmetics. However, we don't want to ignore some of the cooler stuff included in Online 2 and Blue Burst just because, you know, a lot of these were really sweet. As we mentioned earlier, Online 2 hosted a massive celebration of the blue blur and offered up handfuls of rewards and items for players to unlock or purchase, such as the Photon Glider of Tails Propeller Tails. For Blue Burst, players could join Sonic in a side mission. Not for any particular reason, other than it was cool to have him in the game, but, you know, we'll take what we can get. It was still neat to find. Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD and Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. It's nice to see Super Monkey Ball back in full swing, and it even went through the trouble of inviting Sonic fans in for the banana fueled fun. Prior to launch, it was announced that Sonic would be an unlockable character in the HD remaster for Banana Blitz, being available after beating the 8th world in the campaign. He would return in Banana Mania as an unlockable character yet again, but with a softer condition. Save up 5,000 points to buy him from the shop. That's it. And if you're wanting a break from the Cerulean Speedster, you can also unlock Tails. LEGO DIMENSIONS Oh yeah! I found this earlier while I was out hunting for, uh, something else. It's not an emerald, or even emerald shape, so I'm not all that bothered about it. LEGO DIMENSIONS was one of those games that basically shouldn't exist. What with all the many different IPs featured across the game, basically it was a lawyer's nightmare but a fanboy's dream. While most of the game was filled with a ton of Warner Brothers properties like Batman and Lord of the Rings, it also showed some love for video games like classic Midway titles and Portal. Just in time for his 25th birthday, Sonic sped his way into LEGO Dimensions coming with his car from the Sega All-Stars Racing Series and the Tornado.
Of course, a brand new level was added to the game as well, and it was a level that would make any Sonic fan gush. With references to classic, obscure, and low points across the franchise's history, this was an add-on that was too good to pass up. And don't forget, you definitely owe me a favor for this! Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from. 